I'm going to show you the three welding joints that I use for joining square tubing at a 90 degree angle. And number one, obviously, is just a straight butt joint. Uh, nothing too smart in that. Just join it straight up. Now, you do get stuck with an open end, whether it's running up and down on a gate or whatever. Uh, you can weld a plate in it, which is a, a fair bit of work, really. Uh, or you can drive, if it's, if it's not important, you can drive a wooden peg in it, just like I do in this clip. blocks they're purely to block off the ends I've come to the right size so I should be able to just drive them straight in I've put a texture mark on the end that I'll give a real light file like it's almost had nothing it's purely to get it through that sharp edge so this will stop it spiders kids kids getting their fingers in there And when you paint it, it looks good. Now to get around the problem of the open hole, we can do a 45 degree angle cut back and match them in. Now, let's cut one of them now. I'll just clean them up a little bit and then we'll see how we how they fit. Alright. That's ready to tack. Our second joint. Now the third joint makes a bit of a, a smoother edge. So what you're really doing is using that and that, and then we're just going to cut a piece that'll fit in there. So it's just a, a simple piece like that. And to cut that, I use one of your your little off cuts. I cut a 45 degree down. I get a piece of this and I level it up with that edge right on that point there. So this is the piece you're going to weld to this. You level that right up and mark that edge of it. Right through there. So that is the piece you want. And that's really straight down there. So hope that makes it simple. Right there. So that's the bit we want. This bit here. I'm gonna cut that.
give this a bit of a clean up. Right, so what you want, just touching on the inside edge, square. And this piece will just drop in there and put a really nice corner on the whole thing. joints. Now my tacks are quite big. I'm going to grind them down. I'm going to keep these joints as samples in my workshop. So I want the, the welds to hold but still see what's really going on underneath. I'll sand this one down now. Alright. Start off with the buck joint. This is a really simple join. It's just two straight cuts. Easy to measure up. He's the simplest to set out, to cut, to do. A very, a very simple, quick joint. This one, 45 degree angle. So we've cut a 45 degree angle on each piece, fits together, it's quite a quick cut because there's only two cuts, fits together. If you set up right, the thing just wants to hold itself together. It fits beautifully. You've got a good, good join, easy to weld. Now, this one, I like this one. This is the most amount of work you've got. You've, you've got to cut these to length to start with, and then you've got an extra two cuts there. Then it's got to fit, so you've got to mess around with it a little bit. But if this was on a trolley, like you've got a wheel here, it's a lot better to kick your shin on that than that. That looks a lot neater. This is a really nice a nice looking joint. Oh, that's those three. I hope the video is of some help to you deciding on what to do with your welding. If you enjoyed the video, please click like, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. There's more to come. Thank you.